hey guys hey everyone how are y'all doing once again it's your girl twin d and thank you so much for stopping by the channel if you're new here welcome welcome to the camp and my longtime subscribers you already know the drill big up enough respect and thank you all for your support let's jump straight into your message because i'm so excited to deliver this one our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come. Thine will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. All right. Oh, before I begin, let me explain a couple of things because I, I realize, yes, every day there are new people coming on to my channel. So again, let me explain for you. I do say my prayer at the beginning of every single message because that's how I make sure that my my messages, they are coming from the right place. And because I need to be protected and covered. I am a messenger of God, guys. That's why I'm here doing this and calling on the Lord's name. All right. No other reason or is I wouldn't be here. So if you want to know more, just keep on watching. All right. And I am not showing the cards because I'm not at home. So I cannot record as I usually do. So without further ado, I hope that answer your questions. All right. <laughs> let's jump into your message guys listen i decided not to not to call for any downloads until i say my prayer so again so i make sure that these messages are correct and i'm saying the right thing and i'm doing the right thing here so i've already gotten the cards out my first energy that i got is the eight of swords and the question i asked god right now is in regards to our masculines and why there is no communication and what i'm getting here with this eight of swords energy is that they're tied up but the energy that i got is not like they're confused or stuck in their mind or whatever it's like um how do i put this it's like um they are being like like isolated they are being isolated so that they can be worked on so that whatever they're experiencing whatever they're going through like that process can be completed so your divine masculines right now they are being it's like they're being kept kept away or kept apart from you so that they can be worked on everything that's happening with these masculines right now it's because there's a change that's happening within them. And and guys, listen, not every message is for everyone, right? But at the same time, whatever is happening with these divine masculines, if it doesn't happen with your masculine right now, it will most definitely happen. Because all these cycles, every single twin flame will experience these changes and these cycles because it is a lesson it is a period that is set out and laid out by god it's like if you want to become a doctor everyone has to go through the same process the same teaching the same practice so that you can in the end become a doctor every single person has to experience the same things on this journey we might start last year some starts five started five years ago some some are going to start next year but the process is the same and the ending is the same so with this eight of swords here it's like your divine masculines that things are being revealed to them and it's being revealed to them spiritually it's not something they can see with their own eyes it is it, it's like it's not a feeling it's something that is going to be revealed to them by god so right now they're surrounded, they're protected, they're covered, they're in their own little world. And it's because they are being shown things that they either didn't know about in regards to you and this um, connection or it's in regards to how they need to change and the things they need to do. Because our next energy is the tower. So things are definitely changing. Things are, and, it's, and they're happening very, very fast. And mind you, Divine Feminines, you, you don't have any idea that this is going on. Because number one, you're not where they are. <laughs> That's number one. And number two, you're not feeling this energy. Because the Divine Masculine and Feminine that this message is related to, they are no longer feeling 
each other's energy. That is what happens when you come into union with yourself, when you realize that your divine masculine is always with you. They are with you. They are within you. They are you. When you come to that conclusion, then everything will now happen as if it's you. So it will no longer be like, oh, I'm feeling my masculine, he's upset, and I'm happy. I want to be happy, but I can't be happy because my masculine's energy is interfering with mine. No, you now have that control. You can now feel that whatever energy is coming on, that's not you, it's my masculine. But at the same time, you have that control, knowing that my energy is what needs to be important. My energy is what needs to come forward. So in other words, you're living your life. You're not living your masculine's life. You're not experiencing your masculine's life anymore. And that's because you and your masculine are now one within because you acknowledge it, you understand it, you now know that you are one. Instead of worrying and wondering, um, this person is not going to come back, this person is out there, this person is there, there, out there, out there, nowhere. But because you realize they are within and they're always with you, now that brings union with self and this is why you are not going to be seeing, feeling, or hearing the changes that they're experiencing. Because you're now living your individual lives. So everything that's happening here, every change that's happening, it's coming from God. There is nothing we can do about it. Everything that's happening is coming from God. So even though there is no communication, this is the reason why. Because your divine masculines are experiencing these changes, these spiritual changes. And they're bringing forth a new life, a new self. Because our next energy is ta -da -da -da. <laughs> the nine of cups, guys. Seven, one, seven. <laughs> oh, my God. All right, let's go. <laughs> It is exciting. It is exciting. Because that does show that your divine masculines are coming into union with themselves. Hence that 717. And this nine of cups where they are now self-fulfilled. They are now fulfilling themselves, their lives, living them, doing them. Their lives, there is no longer focus on what they can get over there, what they have already gotten, what they're hoping for. It's what they are doing for themselves, what they can achieve for themselves. And 757. And guys, like I always say, do not just see the numbers or hear the numbers and say, oh my God, 717, oh my God, 757. Look these numbers up. When you see them so you know what it's saying to you. So you know if it's something you need to do. Or if you know if it's something that's already been done. Go on Google guys and search Twin Flame. Don't leave that part out because there are different meanings. Twin Flame number 717. And then it will tell you what it is related to in regards to your connection. Or your journey. Or you. Right? But these divine masculines, they are so, so happy right now. So this no communication between you and them, it is, it's because of that change. It's because of the experience that they are experiencing, which is going to send them into a new dimension, and uh, on a new journey, a new path. Your next energy is the king of cups. So this is definitely telling us guys that your divine masculines are changing into that person that loves themselves. 911. Your masculines are in this energy of self-love guys. It's the same self-fulfillment energy that the divine feminine has. And that's why your masculine can now get to this point. Because you as a divine feminine, whoever you are, you are doing this. You are loving you. You are focused on you. You have already gone through that cycle that you need to go through. And everything is changing for the better. Because once you have self-love, oh boy, nobody, nothing, and no negative energy, negative people, karmic, no one can come into your life and disturb that peace 
trust me you will have ups and downs still but you now have the knowledge and understanding to know what to allow and what not to that's what happens when you are transformed spiritually you draw closer to god and you have this sense and understanding of what self-love is of what peace is of what unconditional love is that's the most beautiful part of this journey okay so your overall energy guys is the world and this is exactly what we are looking for a completion of that cycle happiness joy peace prosperity these are my masses feel like they they feel like they're on top of the world right now they feel like they're in another level and again this is the reason why separation is so important on this journey because it gives you the chance the opportunity to be one with god to sit and talk with god and allow god to guide you on your journey in your life so that he can show you what you need to see so that you can fulfill that passion of self-love and your energy in regards to what this message is about is the wheel of fortune look at these two major arcanas guys the wheel of fortune and the world a cycle so these cycles are being completed a major 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 cycle has been completed for these divine masculines so for some of you guys who well let's say whomever this message is for there is no communication between you and your person right now you may have had a little with them or, or something but there weren't any communication or you were thinking about what to do next or whatever is going to happen next but What's happening right now is your divine masculines are being held up in their own little space so that they can heal. They are healing. They are breaking free. And they are achieving that self-love energy. And in the middle, guys, oh my gosh, in their heart is the Ace of Swords. So listen, just prepare yourself for communication because it is going to happen. It is coming and it is because they have mastered the, how do I say, whatever, the art of self-love. <laughs> but this is beautiful and divine masculines, congratulations on loving yourself. That's all we as a divine feminine want you to do. Make sure you're loving yourself. You're not allowing others to mistreat you, to use you, abuse you, put you down, step on you. Well, all the nasty things. That's what we want to see from you. Most importantly, second important, <laughs> you communicating with us. And once you're doing that, it's okay. But Keep on loving yourselves, divine masculines and divine feminines. Keep putting in that work because it is working. All right. You live by faith and not by sight. Take care of yourselves, guys. I love you all. Let go and let God. And I'll see you at your next message later. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, guys. And make sure you keep watching them ads, all right? That's how you put food on your girl's table. So love or no, 30 seconds is all it takes, all right? Let go and let God. Later.